Hey guys, happy Wine Wednesday. So I'm coming at you today from my living room couch. Why? Because my little house goat, which you can probably hear in the background, screams bloody murder if he can't see me. And he hasn't seen me all day, so he's extra angry about it. So I'm out here on my couch with you today with some not so great lighting. But I wanted to talk to you guys today about wine and its body. So what does it mean when wine has body? Well, every wine has some kind of body. And body has everything to do with alcohol level. So when you're tasting wine and it feels kind of like heavy in your mouth, typically that means that it is higher in body. Hey, I'm trying to film here. So a higher bodied, or a... <laughs> so you've probably heard, so you've probably heard people say like, Oh, this wine is very full bodied or this is a very light bodied wine. What that means is there's a lot of booze in this or there's probably not enough booze in this. So reds typically are more medium to full bodied and whites are typically more of a light body like this one. So full body alcohol range can be anything over 13.5%. Medium bodied is considered 12.5% to 13.5% and light body does 12.5% anything under that. So a lot of dessert wines that have a lot of sugar in them um, typically are a lighter bodied um, as far as their alcohol content, content goes. Um, the fuller body wines do feel heavier in your mouth. So there is something to that that can kind of give you a clue as to whether it's like a medium to full body. So the only way you can truly figure out how to tell the difference between bodies of wine is to try a lot of wine. So, cheers to your journey for your wine drinking and figuring out just what it means for a wine to have body. Bye guys, cheers.